So the first clock up is the M800 uh, chronometer from Davtron. It's a very basic um, clock. It has three modes, uh, universal time, local time and elapsed time. It does come in four different flavors with a gr green or orange backlit display and you have the choice of these circular buttons or rectangular backlit uh, buttons as you saw in the overview at the beginning. Um, essentially the universal time or Greenwich Mean Time as it's called on, on some clocks um, just gives you exactly that, the universal time. This is taken from the SIM so the current SIM universal time is uh, 11.38. You have the option with the select button to toggle over to local time which um, I think we're in the US at the moment on the SIM so the time there is uh, 6.39 and an elapsed time mode by another push of the select button there um, at the moment set to zero you use the control button here to um, start the elapsed timer off you can see it starts counting up and the little triangle here is just flashing to let you know that that is operating and then you can stop and reset at any time now the functionality that was added that I mentioned uh, previously was the ability to control the clock and vice versa between the SIM and um, the Air Manager instrument uh, button. So from the SIM now I'm activating the buttons uh, there you can see it's counting up and I stop and then a reset. Oh it's counting again I must have pushed that twice there so that's the uh, the elapsed count up uh, timer then we also have the ability to do a, a countdown timer that requires you pushing both the buttons now it's not possible to currently do that so my implementation of uh, that is to have a, a hidden uh, button here in the in the middle which is essentially um, the same as pushing uh, both the buttons so we push in the both button and it, you go into a, a, cl a clock setting mode where it starts flashing the individual digits so you can set uh, a down time here the, a starting point for your down timer so rather than go something too mad then you use the select button and the control buttons to adjust the time so select one toggles you through the digits so we're going to just go to the last digit here and then the control one just toggles round the different uh, options in terms of a number it will go up to nine and then back round to zero again so we're just going to set it to something very basic here like four and then we're going to one more push of the select button will essentially take you out of that mode and then you can see there now um, we're sitting there ready to start that downtime or with four seconds on the time of course you would probably normally set uh, something a little bit bigger than that and you can see it's sitting here with a static thing so it's not actually running at the moment uh, it's sitting there at four so to start that same as the, the up timer you just press the control button once you can see it's now flashing and it's counting down and when it gets to zero it flashes the display and you can hear an audible tone flashing away then and then it starts counting up after that passing through zero point so to stop the audible one you can push either of these buttons there you go, it carries on counting. You push control to stop and another push to reset. So you, um, those that function in terms of the um, audible uh, sound is um, set up as a user preference in this particular instrument so you don't have to have that, you can turn that off. But all of the, uh, the clocks that have in the real world an external output, which most of them do, uh, for, for connecting to a sounder or, or an enunciator to let you know that some condition has happened like the time has counted down or uh, has reached a certain point um, there is a um, inter-instrument variable um, that you can use if you want to um, to connect into uh, that instrument uh, external alarm so you can get that to trigger whatever you so wish uh, um, from a variable point of view in another air manager instrument so that's the uh, basic clock functions. Lot, as I said, lots of these are very similar to um, the um, other clock functions. So what we'll do is we'll delve into those other clocks now and we'll just talk about the differences between these because they'll have essentially the same uh, common modes here but they um, offer some slightly different um, features and display modes in terms of how they represent the information. So here we have the uh, Davton M803, uh, very similar to the uh, M800. 
Um, it offers some slightly different features. Now, this is the um, the stock clock that you find in the uh, in the Sim Cessnas. So um, it has the normal uh, select and control buttons, similar to the M800 that I just uh, showed. But it also additionally, you can see, has this additional flight time mode. So essentially, the way this works is when the airspeed becomes active, I think it's above 30 knots, you um, you get a, a counting up uh, flight time uh, display here. And you also have the ability uh, using the uh, the setting mode that uh, similar to what I showed you before, but this is for flight time this time, in setting a, um, a flight time um, preset time in here such that when the flight time reaches that again it triggers uh, a, an alarm and it flashes the display to let you know that um, you know say you want to put 30 minutes in here after you've been flying for 30 minutes it will tri it will um, trigger that some of the other clocks have that on a recurring type basis this one doesn't um, so you can set it for things like uh, remind you to swap fuel tanks um, or if you want to uh, do a check of a certain thing within a certain interval you can set up that recurring alarm so that you know if you set it for say 10 or 15 minutes every 10 or 15 minutes it will uh, alert you to the fact that um, 10 minutes or 15 minutes have passed since the last um, event. Additionally this uh, particular um, clock also has another button at the top here that you can see uh, you're probably familiar with this it's the OOT or volts display you can see at the moment it's displaying 26.3 uh, volts um, and then you can toggle um, to the outside air temperature first in Fahrenheit and then Celsius and then another toggle gets you back to uh, the voltage display so that's just an extra function that this particular clock has it I think one of the other, one or two of the other um, clocks have an OAT display on them as well it's just a couple of extra little features uh, that are in the clock but again this one available with the green or the orange and I showed you the dimming uh, at the beginning in the uh, overview uh, so that's um, again the, the the other modes here very similar to the uh, M800 in terms of the way they operate the universal time the local time and the elapsed time features are exactly the same as the M800 Okay, so the next one up is the uh, M877 from Davtron also. It's very similar to the uh, M803 in so much as the modes are very similar. Um, this one is called Greenwich Mean Time rather than Universal Time, but essentially the same thing. Local time, flight time, elapsed time. Again, select button toggles through the modes. Control button here starts and stops the... Uh, uh, flight and elapsed timers and resets the um, the time and there's an invisible both button here too as well for for going into the uh, select digit and setting up of those um, countdown elapsed timers and the flight time in, uh, interval timer um, really not much to say really about the M877 there's another one coming up as well this which is again is in very similar different display it does have slightly different um, buttons on this one in so much as there you may not have seen it so I'll just toggle those very quickly not toggle but um, adjust the you can see um, the backlit level um, changes accordingly uh, with the display there so just a different uh, format really but essentially the same information and this is why the common library comes in uh, very handy in terms of those functions I didn't have to write all of that again the different clock just using those library functions uh, to control the various modes uh, uh, and very similar to operation of one of the other clocks just really the graphics um, and and the display of these segments um, is a little different but that's essentially just it so we'll uh, we'll jump on to the next one so as I said previously, uh, the next one up is the M850, very, very similar to the M877, in fact almost identical, other than the fact it's uh, green and not orange. So it has the um, the backlit buttons as the eight, uh, M877 does too. There you go, uh, dimming down and up. So again, just another option in terms of uh, the look and feel of the cockpit in terms of the colours. 
um, all the same modes as the 877 so Greenwich Mean Time, Local Time, Flight Time and Elapsed Time and the Invisible both button again um, just essentially exactly the same uh, instrument um, but in green so the next one up um, is a different manufacturer it's from Electronics International it's uh, called the SC5 I think they deem it the su SC is for super clock uh, quite what that means I'm not sure um, but essentially it's, uh, it's, it's got the same, it presents the information slightly differently and the user interface is a little bit different to the previous clocks that you've seen but essentially it provides the same uh, level of information. So you use the switch here on the front to toggle through the different uh, modes here. You see there's five LEDs here uh, to denote which mode you're in so again it's in a slightly different order. So um, we're in local here so L for local and this is obviously in hours so uh, the time being 6.54 you can toggle over to um, Zulu mode um, which is essentially uh, another name for Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time as far as the sim is concerned anyway so 11.54 there's an up and a down timer um, so you have the ability to um, set the, uh, the down time and then start and stop fairly obvious operation and, and reset of of the uh, of the times there um, and the up and the down you can see there now the digits start to flash to denote that it's operating but you can see that anyway with the digits changing so you can stop reset and similar I won't uh, go through all the all the modes but similar with the with the down timer you can start and stop that from a preset uh, position in terms of setting the um, time again this is a, an operation of a push to both buttons so the both button here you can just see the little hand there um, is below this time because obviously there's this, this switch in the middle this time so the both button that you need for the, these two ones is just sort of below that you push that and you get into a setting mode and you can use these buttons to toggle and change the digits as per the real instrument so um, if ever in doubt in terms of the operation, or always refer back to the original instrument uh, instructions um, because it's as close to those instructions uh, in terms of the operation of the, the various switches. And then this uh, clock additionally has one more mode here called engine time, so we toggle over to there and that gives um, like a Hobbs display at, um, of the engine total engine running time, so you can see there 274 um, hours and then when you toggle over there you get a, a tenths and a hundredths um, display there so seven tenths and no hundredths you let go of that and it just toggles back to the uh, the normal mode now um, additionally also there's a couple of um, alarm LEDs they're very similar to the the other clocks they're just for the up and the down uh, timer mode so essentially when you get to a a preset um, point in terms of you setting an alarm say on a down a down timer um, that will start to um, um, enunciate an alarm in terms of counting down so we're counting down from 20 seconds here on the down timer and similar to the other clocks it has an audible selection in the user property so you can have that on or off and it also has the um, the VAR there you go so the down timer is now flashing and the audible alarm is along operate any one of these switches or buttons here and that cancels that uh, alarm turns the flashing light off turns the alarm audible alarm off and it will actually turn the invisible um, into instrument um, variable off as well if you've got anything connected to that so this uh, particular gauge is um, it's part of a range of electronics international gauges that I've also been working on that I'll be showing in another video um, so there's a there's a range of quite a few electronics international uh, gauges for all different uh, in, uh, engine mainly functions um, and this is part of that range but I thought I'd show it here because um, it's probably more closely aligned to the clocks than it is the the other instruments so it kind of really sits in this uh, this clock group if you like on to the next one 
So the next one up here again is a different manufacturer. It's a mid-continent MD93. Same form factor as uh, all the other clocks, slightly more modern looking. Um, it has like this white, I think these are LED um, seven segment displays giving you the, uh, the clock mode. Um, three buttons this time, uh, a mode, a plus and a, a minus and you can see there's uh, built in uh, USB, 2.1 amps too, that's uh, very good to see. Um, this um, default mode here you can see it doesn't have any di uh, other display other than the, the clock there so you're thinking well what mode are we in here so we toggle through the different uh, modes here this is in fact local time um, because it doesn't show anything else here um, you toggle on to the next mode and you get UTC and then a flight timer and an elapsed timer so very similar to the other clocks just presented in a, a slightly different way so uh, nothing at the top there means you're in local mode that's the default when you first power up I believe um, UTC flight timer again that is activated by uh, airspeed so once you're over about 30 knots uh, this will start uh, counting up and then the elapsed timer similar now with the elapsed timer, it's slightly different in terms of the way that it operates um, there are this plus and minus buttons uh, here and there's also uh, a little in, um, uh, both button in the middle here similar to the other clocks this both button however doesn't take you into the the setting menu like uh, pre uh, previously with the other clocks that essentially when I ho press and ho uh, hold it will do a display check uh, for you now the other clocks I I've, uh, didn't show you them uh, this feature on the other clocks but the other clocks also have a similar feature um, where I think it's the both button again um, if you hold it down for a certain amount of uh, time rather than just giving it a, a quick click then it will enter this uh, display mode where it tends to put the eight eights up and lights all the different segments of the display uh, just as a sort of display check um, at the start of the um, of the power up or if you want to uh, hold that down and uh, check that at any time I'll let go of that so that as I said that that only does that feature it doesn't do um, the the, the um, setting that's handled by this mode button so what you do is you press and you hold the mode uh, button and you can see there it's entered this uh, display where it says uh, down, DN or down short for down and so you can you can push any of these buttons here up or down uh, it doesn't really make any difference and it just toggles between up and down so essentially you're, you're saying um, you want the timer to be an up timer or a down timer you select that mode once you're happy with what you want there we'll leave uh, leave it in up um, what should we do down now let's do down uh, you toggle the mode button again and then you see now you have a, a set of flashing double digits here denoting uh, the parts of the time that you want to uh, set so seconds minutes hours we're not going to set any hours uh, I don't think you want to sit here for an hour and wait for that to uh, count down so we're going to toggle through there similar to what we did before you can see I've it's already remembered the setting from last time the clock was used so 10 seconds probably from when I was uh, testing um, but you can set any number you like uh, in here using these up and down uh, buttons I oh, will leave it at 10 seconds and then you press mode again once you're happy with the time that you've set in the timer and you can see it puts that time whatever it happens to be this is 10 seconds if you had the minutes and the hours these would be here too uh, and then when you're ha happy to start that timer you just push the plus button and it starts counting down very similar to the other clocks and when it gets down to zero you'll get the uh, audible tone again uh, because I've got it set on as default but again you can turn it off and it starts to flash and then continues to start counting up and again you acknowledge the uh, the audible tone by pushing any of these three buttons and then it continues uh, counting up and, and then to, to stop that you just push the plus button and then to reset you push the minus button and it resets to the previous time that you've had in there so if you want to do the same time again you just start the sequence again or if you want to set a different time you enter the setup mode with a mode and you set a different time and away you go okay I think uh, we just have one more to uh, show now uh, and then we'll be complete so last up but by no means least is the aerospace logic CA200
this is a rather modern and uh, funky representation of a, a, a digital uh, clock display it features a um, LCD or TFT um, display here so it enables them to provide the uh, information in a rather more um, I don't say different uh, representation to what we've seen with uh, perhaps some of the other clocks and their um, sort of segmented type displays so we start with very similar modes um, this is the UTC mode we have a novel uh, representation of the clock ticking along on this bar here and this just keeps going round um, to represent uh, the seconds within a minute and that will just if we get to 60 this will toggle over uh, and that's the same for the UTC and the local modes here and obviously this OAT is at the bottom of both of the modes you have the option to display the local in uh, 12 or 24 hour format so you can have the leading zeros on or off there because it's only 8.54 at the moment and the, I think the default is uh, to not have the leading zero you can see it's not shown on this particular display the next mode up is the uh, timer mode this is probably equivalent to the uh, elapsed timers that you've seen in the other clocks just presented in a slightly different format so um, we have the two uh, buttons here top and bottom uh, of the display here which is common to the um, a lot of the aerospace logic um, gauges in terms of a common uh, user interface so what we do is we um, we toggle the bottom button here to go into the um, the setup mode and then this essentially uh, just toggles uh, where the cursor is uh, pointing and then the top button will adjust that particular parameter uh, that's highlighted so we're going to just put the uh, clock to around 25 seconds here and then come down to save and now you can see now we've set something here when I click the next uh, movement of this thing we've got an additional option here called start so if I were to just click um, save for instance here uh, it would just set the 25 seconds but it wouldn't start the timer oops excuse me it would just keep the um, um, 25 seconds there ready and when you entered the mode again you would come all, uh, straight away into this uh, start highlighted uh, mode so then all you need to do is just uh, click the start but you can click start straight away uh, upon the setting and then it will start counting down and this seconds will start um, counting round so what I've just done there is just toggled off of the display because this is to show you the um, the way that it, it jumps back to the timer mode when you're 10 seconds away from um, that uh, reaching zero point so you can see there when we re we were 10 seconds out it automatically jumped back to this particular display and then when it reaches zero um, it will stop at zero it won't ca carry on counting through like some of the other clocks and it will sound that audible alarm which you can clear by uh, uh, acknowledging uh, it by pushing one of these uh, two buttons and so you can set whatever times you want in there in terms of minutes and seconds for, for counting down and you can be away on one of those other screens and it will just bring you back uh, to here of course when you're 10 seconds away which uh, obviously in this demonstration uh, we were only 25 seconds but obviously you wouldn't probably be setting something as short as that you'd be setting something much longer and so you may want to sort of uh, go away to one of the other screens and then it will just uh, remind you when you're 10 seconds away from that uh, deadline you'll jump it will jump back automatically to here uh, just as a reminder to let you know that um, it's about to expire so let's jump on to the um, next mode which is um, flight timer so the last screen we've got here then is the f the flight time screen so this screen is uh, divided up by this line here and we've got the um, the standard uh, flight time display that will just uh, count up if the airspeed is above uh, 30 knots and just keep counting um, and then below the line we have uh, an interval timer which is a recurring uh, alarm timer uh, set, set in minutes that will uh, keep uh, giving you a recurring um, reminder um, to do something in the cockpit so for instance um, you know to swap the, uh, the fuel selector over um, from left to right um, every few minutes you could set that up here if you wanted to uh, a timer and you just keep get continually getting a reminder unless you set this interval timer back to zero it would keep uh, prompting you at that interval um, that um, your uh, interval timer um, uh, prompt as, as, a, as a way of sort of reminding you that you need to uh, do something within the cockpit 
So what we'll do is we'll get the flight timer running, and the way we do that is um, by getting the uh, airspeed up above um, 30 knots. So we'll just do that quickly now with the sim. There we go. And so it's counting up now, and it'll just keep counting up now until we... Uh, until we reset. So the way the way to reset or we power down of course. Um the way to reset is to come into the setup menu and then we have an option here if we want to uh, we can just keep toggling around these options but while we're on the flight time itself if we toggle this top button we get this reset option. If we click again then it, that time will reset to zero. I'm not going to do that because otherwise it means I'm going to have to get the 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 aircraft back up above 30 knots because I've slowed it back down to uh, a standstill now. But essentially um what that will do is that will um, that will zero this uh, flight time now as I said if I'm stationary and I'm below 30 knots and if I zero it will stay on zero and I'll have to go above 30 knots to get it to start counting up to one two three four etc again if I'm already over 30 knots uh, as in I'm, cr I'm cruising along already and I, I click that reset option it will just reset it to zero and start counting straight away because it's got that th uh, 30 knot airspeed trigger so it's just a way of zeroing the flight time, if you like, uh, while you're flying along. So the interval timer now is an interval of that flight time above it. So if we set, if we were to set this for 10 minutes, at, at a flight time of 10 minutes and a flight time of 20 minutes and 30 minutes, we would continually keep getting an, uh, an interval alarm, which I'll show you how that's represented in a minute. So what we're going to do is we set the interval timer for a minute, and every minute we'll get... Uh, uh, a reminder to let us know that um, we're getting uh, or there's an interval uh, a timer or an, or an alarm come up. In fact what we'll probably do is, because the flight time is up nearly at two minutes now, what we'll probably do is we'll set this um, interval timer up um, for three minutes um, so it doesn't keep coming up and bothering us. So what we'll do is we've got the up and down arrows here so we can just toggle that up to three minutes there and obviously the down arrow would would bring us down if you want to and then we're going to click done now what you can see here is that we've got this interval timer up and immediately it's come up with this progress bar that's already part of the way through because it's a three minute interval timer and we're already at two minutes and 23 so it's going to remind us at three minutes and at six minutes and it's not and at nine minutes uh, so it's going to carry on like that so what we'll do is we'll just to show you we're going to go away from this screen and on any of the other screens if you're not on that flight uh, um, timer display screen it will enunciate to you when that interval has in fact been reached so any second now we should see an enunciation I'm hoping it's going to happen it should there we go so we've got an audible alarm similar to with the other timers and you can see now flashing up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen there in this green box is the number three now the number obviously denotes the time that we've set so a three minute interview so it's got the number three there and then we just acknowledge that alarm by clicking the button and the and the box will continue to flash for about 20 seconds and then it will flash again in another three minutes so if I was to carry on uh, rambling on for another three minutes you'd see that flash up again uh, so you can as I say you could set that um, to, to be 10 or 15 minutes probably more realistic uh, number to remind you to do something at a certain interval and then that number would come up every interval until you reset that um, interval timer back to zero again so that concludes um, the demonstration for all of the uh, clocks uh, today I hope you enjoyed the demonstrations um, hopefully I'll be posting some more videos soon um, related to uh, some of the uh, electronics international gauges that I mentioned earlier um, so hopefully tune in for that and see you again soon thanks very much bye bye